Welcome, I'm Viola from 3D Render and Beyond. Today I would like to show you how to improve a metal shader for an industrial piping of an air conditioning or for a similar device. I will show you a rather simple procedure where we will stratify various layers one at a time until we reach the desired result. This is the object we will start with. Even though I have used UV mappings, it is not strictly necessary to use them. Appropriate projections are enough. Lighting setup is extremely simple. Just a single HDR downloaded from hdrihaven.com. Let's create a basic steel shader. Let's launch the interactive render in the viewport. This is the result. Let's see how to improve it right away. We can give it a more satin effect by slightly lowering glossiness. It looks better, but we can improve it more. For example, we can add a brushed effect on the surface. This is something common for some cases of industrial processing. Let's load a map. The glossiness level is way too much, therefore you'll need to insert the texture in a layer shader to make it darker and increase contrast. Just increase gamma to 3.3 and now the effect is more pleasant. You can clearly see streaks on the surface, but since this kind of finish has a direction, it is best to add anisotropy. For this reason, increase this value, and we will obtain the desired effect, where a specular highlight will be stretched perpendicularly to the brush direction. Don't worry about these elements right now. They have different mapping, so we will need to modify a few things in this shader but we will see this soon. As you can see, the surface is perfectly straight, while instead, since metal sheets are so thin, they are usually slightly wavy. We can simulate this effect through bump channel. We only need a simple procedural noise. Let's increase the effect for just a moment in order to understand the behavior. This is obviously too much, so let's turn the value down. Now we can have a more realistic result with our metal sheets deformation is more subtle.
I am rather satisfied with the result of the basic metal. Now we can fix a few flaws on the rest of the geometry. I have already prepared shaders just like the one above. The only difference is the brush direction and where necessary an isotropy's rotation. Now the result is correct. Stainless steel doesn't oxidize or rust, but it can get dirty. Let's see how to add dust over the condensation and dirt where necessary. Let's start with a layer of dust. We could simply add a layer of uniform dust over the metal. Let's see how. We can substitute the metal with a black base in order to have a clear view of the result. Give the dust shader a color and add a map to give it a bit of transparency. The map's grayscale is wrong, so let's invert it. Now what we can notice, except for the effect that is way too visible, is the tiling error since we use a cubic map projection. We can fix this issue by inserting the texture inside a triplanar node and from there we can scale and rotate to our needs. Now the texture is perfectly blended but a little too visible so we can fade this with the help of a layer shader. If we mix it with a black base, we can obtain the wanted effect. Now we have another issue to resolve. Dust doesn't spread evenly on surfaces, but only on top of it. We can fix this with the use of a falloff shader set with direction 0, 1, 0. This way the dust will land only on top of the geometry. We can control fall off by playing around with the gradient.
Now that we figured how it works, we can apply it to the dust shader using multiply mode. Now we have the dust only over the surface, we can therefore add a little more detail through diffuse channel always using a triplanner node. We are almost there, we need to add a little dirt where surfaces meet. We can use the same technique by using a dark base to see the effect better. Create a basic shader and this time use an ambient occlusion to focus dirt where we please. Invert black and white and choose a radius that is correct for what we need. Now we will have specific spots where dirt will pile up. Let's see the final effect. I think we have a pleasant result. You can obviously improve the material, but I feel this is a good start. As you can see, there is no need to do complicated things. You just need to layer various effects, always thinking how things work in the real world. You can download the scene that I use with the shaders and textures included for free at the link below. I would also like to remind you that this object is part of the Corona Workplace scene that can be purchased through our website. During Black Friday week, you will be able to buy our products with 30% off by using the code BLACKFRIDAY2020. I hope this short tutorial has been useful and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our newsletter and social media channels so that you will always be updated with new tutorials, products and offers. Thank you for watching.